Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Josh here, and today we're going to talk about why Quinn Cook could possibly win the Sixth Man of the Year award. The Los Angeles Lakers was as active as any team this offseason. Whether well, it was the big trade for Anthony Davis or a handful of signings, one move that didn't generate the buzz that it should have was the signing of Quinn Cook. Cook has spent the majority of his three-year career in Golden State. The 26-year-old guard was a key complement off their bench when they won the championship in 2018. That season, he averaged 10 points per game and 3 assists in just 22 minutes. He also shot an incredible 44% from the three-point range. The Lakers signed Cook to a two-year, $6 million contract. Considering how everyone is getting paid nowadays in free agency, this is quite a bargain for a quality backup guard with playoff experience. The move didn't generate the buzz that the signings of Danny Green, DeMarcus Cousins, and rightfully so. Cook is a guard who isn't flashy, he isn't a big-time alley, and doesn't quite pass the eye test. What he can do is provide the Lakers a smart, steady guard who can shoot it and run an offense. Last season, Cook didn't have quite the role he did in 2017 to 2018 season. He averaged 7 points per game in 14 minutes. Despite his dip in production, he shot 47% from the field and 41% from the 3-point line. One other area he will help the Lakers in is free throw shooting. He is a career 80% free throw shooter. A big upgrade from most of the Lakers teammates. As a team, the Lakers shot 70% from the charity strip last season. Cook also averaged 0.7 turnovers per contest, which is incredibly low. While Cook isn't known as a shutdown defender, he's a tenacious one who excels at putting pressure full court similarly to Spurs veteran Patty Mills. Cook relies on his IQ on that end, making him a smarter defender than most. Getting Cook provides a security blanket for multiple reasons. One, Rajon Rondo, who will probably begin the season as a starter, is injury prone and getting up there in age. Last season, Rondo missed 36 games with different injuries. The second reason being that we don't know just how good Alex Caruso is. Caruso looked magnificent at times over the last weeks, but it is a product of big opportunity and usage or is he a guy who be can become what he appears to be a good player on a good team don't be surprised if cook starts some games in the middle of the season as a starter he averaged 12 points per game and four assists in 10 games last season look for cook to average around 10 points per game and he will give the lakers an efficient shooter who isn't afraid of the big shot and that's all i have for this video if you guys want to see more wakers content like this then subscribe peace out thanks for watching